Woo we about to start this puppy right here. We about to start this puppy right here, man. What's going on, everybody? I gotta get a, I gotta get a little, a little. I don't know what I gotta get, but I know it. it I gotta tighten up my, I gotta tighten up my my microphone. I had it for a while. The SM7B. Awesome microphone, by the way. Awesome, awesome microphone. If you guys deciding to do, you know, quote unquote podcasting, definitely, uh, definitely look into the SM7B. Brian Little. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Lockout Man back again with another commentary for you guys. Thank you. If you hear and getting this goodness of these videos, man, why don't you guys drop a like for me? Just let me know that you guys liking the content. You know what I'm saying? Yo, before I get into the commentary tonight, I would like to shout out a few people of of this a few companies that's down with the lockout man podcast show for starters my man from m way transportation definitely give them a call uh make sure you check out the uh interview that i did with the owner of m way transportation he has five or six trucks that's available for you guys if you are interested in getting in with an owner op that's minority based and that is interested in the helping you to become a better you definitely give m way a call shout out to truckers path yes sir i fucks with truckers path you know what i'm saying if you guys coming into the industry and y'all want to know if there's some available parking spaces at these truck stops it's not only the majors but it also got the minors as well so let's say for example this loves right here that i'm at right now is park they parking is is packed to capacity look on truckers path and see if there's a mom and pops gravel lot down the street you can point on that and it will have drivers that actually let you guys know if there's available parking, if there's available spaces or not. Trucker's Path, make sure you guys check that out. Shout out to CLE Transportation. My girl Michelle over there, if you guys is in the Ohio area or not in the Ohio area and is thinking about going with a LTL freight type company that keeps you running, give CLE transportation a call all right definitely check out that interview that I did with with Michelle she has been a staple of the uh show and and a good uh a good friend of the show so if you guys have any questions or anything like that definitely give her a call all right with that out the way let's get into uh let's let's get into this commentary right quick so check it out uh as always i'm in this group uh this particular post right here came from uh i forgot the post name but it it, it was in there but it was interesting and i thought i would share it with you guys here it goes oh bs most of you think trucking sucks or a company sucks because you can't do the job or refuse to do it. I read through these and shake my head. I don't have the same problems as you. I'm respected. I have a good time. The only company that ever ripped me off and that scumbag did it to hundreds of drivers. And thanks to this country's put businessman before the people garbage, he and his mail order Russian bride opened up another business and ripped those people off as well. Hmm. If you want respect, 
earn it. Do the job safely without whining every five seconds. Dress professionally. Nobody is asking you to wear a suit and tie, even though that I've seen a couple of posts where I've seen some of you guys in suit and ties. That's sweet. That is too sweet right there. But God, man, look at some of you pigs out there. This is his, this is his saying, not mine. I'm just saying, uh, learn how to work through your problems. Learn communications. The biggest problem out here is the lack of communication skills some drivers have. Sure, some companies aren't the best. Either learn how to work with it or be a grown up and leave on good terms. Find another job. You'll find that most companies don't suck. Most of it is a bunch of entitled steering wheel holders who thinks that the world owes them something. Nobody owes you anything. Get over it, get to work, and be professional. So yeah, yeah, I mean, not all trucking companies sucks though. I mean, I mean, majority of them do, but it's always, uh, it's always up to the driver to figure out which company works for them, all right? I mean, if you really go back and look at some of the reviews that some of these drivers leave for some of these companies i mean it really is sometimes because of what they have made i mean what they have done or what they have not done you know they probably might get a load they refuse to do it they probably got another load and they refuse to do it and then the dispatcher was the dispatcher be like okay well you didn't do those two loads so i'm going to put you at the bottom of the barrel and then here you is sitting in the truck waiting for loads and you over here figuring out why for loads well it's simple it's because you've been refusing all of the other loads that was given to you and now the dispatcher just don't feel you no more. So what you gonna do? You gonna you you gonna quit? Go to YouTube, make a diss track on them, and then you're gonna go back into the uh, into the what do you call it? Into the um, you know Facebook group, Truckers Report, ND, and and just you know diss that whole company. All in all. It was you that decided that you didn't want to take the loads. So, I mean, it, 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 the company couldn't possibly suck because of you re refusing the loads. I don't know, the, I, I don't know. I mean, some companies are bad and believe me, there, there has been some bad companies, you know. So, not all companies are bad. It's just like what the, it's just like what he said. Like one company in particular ripped him off, and that was legitimate, you know. But he, he said that the company was ripping other drivers off too. That company got another company to rip out i mean to rip off more people now if a gang of people comes on and start talking about that particular company and what that company done to them then yes you might want to listen because it has to be something wrong if more than three people four people saying something about that company but then again you got to put all of that with a grain of salt Do the job safely, you know, do the job safely. Don't, don't cry about, you know, don't cry about the job every five minutes. Put the job in perspective, you know, that's all.
put the job in perspective. And like he said, there's there's a lot of there's a lot of things that you could possibly do for, you know, for the job. Dress professionally. You know. I mean, flip flops. Come on. You going you you representing the company that you drive for. And you go into a shipper and receiver with flip flops on and no socks. I could I can understand the shorts. I did the shorts. I, I did the and one shorts. Everybody know where and one shorts come from. It comes from Walmart. I I, I had a few. I did the shorts. I did the tennis. I I got the I, I got the sneakers, the tennis shoes. You know, I wear shoes that are comfortable. You know, I, I, I don't do flip flops and I don't do shorts, you know, a pair of jeans, nice little T-shirt. And I'm good. I'm good. I don't I don't go in there. I, I don't go in there looking dirty. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm clean. I'm fresh. I smell good. Look good. Go in there. Smile on my face. Hey, how you doing? You're here for a pickup here for a delivery. Oh, okay, no problem. You know, such and such, such and such, you know. Now, sometimes shippers and receivers is not always friendly, but you should never let their disposition mess up your day. So I'm agreeing with 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 this post pretty much. Learn to communicate a lot uh, again. A lot of us don't communicate. We just don't. We don't have no good communications. We're, we're truck drivers, you know. We just when, when, when the slightest thing sets us off, but but still have some good communications though. A lot a lot of us just don't know how to talk to each other. But. You will find that some companies out here don't suck. All right. Don't let don't and, and another thing too. Don't get sucked in by the numbers. Company tell you, hey, uh, we we offer you uh, we offer you this amount, that amount, but you gotta put that in perspective too. If a company is offering you, say, 90 cent a mile company driver then you know you 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 gotta know that you might not be getting a lot of miles you probably might just get just enough miles to break the grand mark i'm just saying but again you know what do you guys think of the post let me know in the comments below. But let me just say this, though, before I get on up out of here and finish up this commentary, right? Again, we, we could talk about a lot of companies that just don't care about the driver. Just deliver the load, and that's all they care about. But there are some companies that do care about the driver, but the driver, you got to understand that is business okay it is business first with the company again me i dress nice you know t-shirt jeans i do a good job i try to get my loads there on time i i you know i i, I i'm aware of my surroundings and I drive safe, all right? But if I was to leave any of the companies, which I have before, you know, I, I, I left companies before, all they, all they just do is hire some more drivers into the job and just keep rolling. My last day with US Express, they had 30 count them 30 new people coming into 
uh, orientation. 30. So getting rid of me leaving me leaving them for that particular day. They they already got 10 more people ready to get in the seat. Trucking industry for the most part is a cold, thankless business. It's a thankless job. The only time that we get thankful, we only get thank we we only get thanked like one day out of the year or one week out of the year that's truck drivers appreciation week one week we should be appreciated every day but we're not even during the covid situation people started saying oh hey thank you while everybody else is being at home not making no money and and running out of toilet paper and 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 paper towels and all like that here comes the truck driver bringing the supplies that you need to these empty ass stores and we're the ones that's driving through the pandemic so we get videos saying oh well thank you drivers we appreciate you drivers Thank you for thank you for sacrificing your life, driver. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Awesome. Awesome. Well, thank you. But now that the pandemic is like, you know, on the tail end now, we 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 truck drivers is not even in the sentence no more. It's thank you, first responders. Thank you, nurses. Thank you, uh, th- thank you for you know first responders for being uh, for 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 fighting the COVID fight. But what about the truck driver? Where, where's the truck driver at in that in in that thank you video? Nowhere to be found. None. So of course, when I got into the industry, and I'm talking about me personally. I got into the industry and it was about run, 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 make the money, make the money, run, 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 make the money, make the money. But later down the line, I I started putting myself first. I don't want to do OTR. I don't want to be out over the road. I don't want to do my 34 over the road. I want to go home. I want to go home a little bit more often. But of course, going home a little bit more often, sacrifice some of the money. Running regional with a couple of companies was was great. The last company running regional wasn't all that hot. This company right here that I'm into is that I'm I'm getting a feel for it. The problem is I can do a good job. I can do a great job for a company and a sloppy truck driver, jerk of a truck driver can deliver on time also. And all the company sees that two loads is delivered on time. Hard to stand out from the crowd when the bar is not that high. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. But that's about it, though. That's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. If y'all did, leave a like. You know what I'm saying? If you like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share, hit that bell, and at all button. Hit the like. Make sure that you hit it. It's free. Hook a brother up. You know what I'm saying? Hook a brother up, man. Yo, I, man, I hope uh, if you guys have anything, uh, if you guys have anything, to, uh, if you guys have anything that y'all want to discuss with me or something like that, hit me up. Yo, that's lockoutmen at gmail.com or go over to the Instagram and hit me up over there and the DM. Yo, if again, 
thank you for watching. I really do appreciate it. You guys are the best. All right. That's going to do it for the commentary tonight. And I will get with you with another video. Peace. Brian Little. <laughs>